everybody welcome back to my channel and hi if you're new here I'm Alyssa and I make fashion booty and lifestyle videos here on this channel I am finally coming back to you with a good American haul I've bought a lot of their clothes to try on for you today quite a bit of things but I'm filming this just in time because right now they're having their six-year anniversary sale so everything well I think everything is 20% off so save more than I did on these pieces I'm gonna be showing you a few tops and I think five different pairs of jeans. Let's just jump right into the video. I'm gonna start off with the pieces that didn't necessarily work for me. There's really only two and then we're gonna jump into all the good stuff. But I tried one of their bodysuits. This is the Scuba Tank bodysuit. Now I got this in the largest size that they had, which was a five and I can't clip it. like. I ha it's not even clipped right now and my bra keeps popping out which is kind of annoying however it feels so comfortable and I have like upper tummy rolls right here and it kind of hides them which is kind of cool because I don't always want those to be front and center in my look but I would definitely wear this with like a little cardigan over it so if you happen to be in a smaller size than I am definitely consider picking one of these up during the sale they're really comfortable if you have a long torso I would say stay away I kind of have a long torso just because of my lower stomach it makes things like bodysuits not fit me like at all but if you have a short torso definitely consider picking them out and then I wanted to talk to you about a new line of jeans that they have it's called the fits all jean so it's pretty inclusive because the size grouping I think it clumps together four sizes at once these jeans that I'm wearing right now are a boot cut and they're a little bit too long for me they kind of bunch up at the ankle but the size that I'm wearing right now is a 20 to 26 so these jeans will fit you if you're anywhere in that size range and if you guys have been on this channel for a while you know my weight has been fluctuating a lot I stopped seeing my endocrinologist and I need to find a different one so I can like get my hormones in check so my weight is still going to be fluctuating which can be annoying when you're just trying to put on an outfit and like nothing fits or something's too big something's too small so something like this is amazing for me so this is the only pair that I picked up in a 20 to 26 the other pair of fits all jeans I picked up I think it's a size 28 to 32 to see how they differ this one fits me kind of snug but I did a sit down test and I can sit down super comfortably in these so they don't suck me in it's not those kind of jeans where like you literally can't sit down or you can't breathe because I have worn those before not a fan they're super stretchy I love the quality of good American jeans they're so pricey like unbelievably pricey but they fit amazing like I this is honestly a type of jean that I could not recommend enough so if you're a little bit taller than me I'm 5'4 by the way definitely pick these up these would be so cute for the fall but yeah these are the first two pieces they're kind of misses for me personally just in my body type but overall amazing quality up next i wanted to try a few things from their better than leather line this is their black crop top it's definitely a shiny leather look crop top i like that the straps are wide because it can hide my bra straps it has what feels like a felt lining or more like a velvet lining on the inside i have no idea how i'm going to launder this <laughs> maybe i just steam it but i have it on with another pair of their fits all jeans now i don't think these necessarily go together but this is the split hem indigo jean i got this one in the size 28 to 32 now honestly it's a little big on me i could have probably i think in their fits all line i'm probably more of the 20 to 26 than the 28 to 32. i can still wear it it's just starting to look baggy on me already if you buy your clothes from nordstrom i do know that nordstrom does some tailoring i'm not sure if they would be able to make these fit me fully if i were to use the nordstrom tailoring but i think they're super super comfortable i did wear a pair of these out and about the other day to see how they wore like i did a wear test when i wear the 28 to 32 size i am having to pull up my jeans kind of frequently but i think that's more so because these ones are a little too big for me versus wearing the 20 to 26 and it's funny because when i buy their just size 26 jeans they're normally really tight on me so it's funny that their 20 to 26 would fit me better than their 28 to 32 i don't know the sizing is kind of wonky so my best to suggestion when buying their clothes if you can try to buy two sizes in your favorite style 
and find the one that works for you and go from there. I know they're pricey, so it's kind of hard to buy multiple sizes of each style that you like, but you can always sale shop. I feel like Good American goes on sale all the time. So just start with one style and then work more pieces into your collection the more sales that happen. This outfit is giving me like 80s vibes, but I wanted to share it with you and now we can move on to the next pair all right next pair of jeans on the list these are the fits all in the size 28 to 32 in a black shade <laughs> and it has a little cut hem at the bottom i don't know if you can see that quick side note i'm going to be putting all the details in the description box because there's like so many different names of jeans and different colors and sizes so if you want the absolute specifics on the items i picked up go to the description box and little hint hint i have a super super special announcement next video i am relaunching my blog so there will be a whole blog post dedicated to these pieces that you will see so there's your little sneak peek as a thank you for watching this video but let me talk about these jeans i wore these the other day when i was running errands and they're so comfortable i think they're so chic actually this outfit i got because it kind of looks like one of the outfits that Emily Gemma styled. And this is just like the plus size version. It looks a little bit different on my body than it does on hers, obviously, because we're two completely different sizes. But I think it still looks super, super cute. Like, I am ready for fall. This is so hot. This I would wear this on a date night with a little jacket. I would wear this running errands if I wanted to. I feel like this is like an all-purpose outfit because it's so sleek since it's like black on black. But it's interesting because it's like different textures. I'm sweating. Can you guys see this? Also, sorry that the lighting is so awful in this video. I haven't set up my lighting. I did, however, finally set up the other IKEA thing right there. So we're making progress. I'm gonna do a whole tour. I think after Christmas, once I'm finally settled, I know that's a while away, but we're gonna be redoing our flooring. So once the flooring is redone in here, I'm gonna be doing an office tour because by then all my pieces from Anthropology should be in. Another little sneak peek for you. <laughs> but back to the jeans. I am obsessed with these. I think these are perfect. If you're gonna get any from this video, I would say pick these up. And like I said, I got these in the 28 to 32 and they are a tiny bit big on me so I wish I sized down one. I honestly might exchange them for the next size down but they still fit so comfortably and they're like the perfect Aaron running jean but it's also multi-purpose so you can wear it for anything. Up next are these better than leather leggings. Now I'm gonna make this short. They do not fit my body at all. They flatten out my butt hardcore. It like literally feels like I'm wearing a diaper. They're so hot and they bunch up at my ankles like these do not complement my body at all the look of them is so nice i was hoping these were going to be an alternative to the spanx leggings because the spanx one do not fit me they're they suck me in way too much this top by the way is from madewell i'll link it down below but it's not from good american i just needed something that wasn't leather because it's really hot but these are going to be a no for me if you live in a smaller body and you're not super curvy these will be perfect on you. They're like low-key comfortable, but yeah, I'm, these are 100% going back. Actually, I take that back. If you're curvy, but you're tall, you can get away with these, I think. But if you are short, yeah, no. These aren't for us, sis. <laughs> okay, the last pair of jeans that I'm trying on for you guys today are the Good Legs in the color black, and they're also in the Fits All line. These ones feel really, really comfortable. I just think they are slightly too long for me. I do have another pair of black denim coming in from Good American. It's just taking its sweet time, I think because of Hurricane Ian. And so I already pushed back this video as much as I could and I had to get it out. So I'll be doing another follow-up blog post on like all the other Good American pieces that come in that I haven't gotten yet. So <laughs> all that to say, I think these I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to return these because I'm just too short for them. I probably could hem them but honestly for the price i want them to just fit me without having to get them tailored but it's not the end of the world if i do these ones are super comfortable but they run a tiny bit small i don't know if i said it already but i think i got these in the 28 to 32 size so they run a tiny bit small on me but they are a great staple for fall so if you're like five five to five six and above these will fit you beautifully like they feel so comfortable too which is a shame they're a little too long but i'm gonna try out the other black denim that i have coming in first and then decide which one i'm gonna keep or if i'm gonna keep any at all <laughs> and last but not least i wanted to try their famous shackets so these were super, super popular. I got it in the putty color and the bone color. I'll try them both on for you. I got them in two different sizes so I could figure out what fits the best. 
This one is in a 5.6, and I believe their 5.6 is equivalent to a 2 to 3X, if that helps you at all. Their sizing is a little weird. So as for the fit, I could 100% button this up. It's cute and I love the color. It's just a little tight in my upper arms. And I'm typically a 2 to 3X up top. So I would say it like runs a little bit small in some areas, but it's normal size in other areas of the jacket. Interesting fit. I'm going to try on the other one really fast so we can see how the fit compares going one size up. This one is super cute as an oversized jacket. I love it. This with like a blue denim would be such a cute outfit. It is definitely oversized. I could button it up, but I would never. It is 100% cotton, so even though it will keep me warm, it won't make me sweat. I can only wear hot pieces like what, two months out of the year because I live in Florida. So I try not to buy too many, but I thought these would be perfect to have in my closet because I will never need a winter coat, but a little shacket. Sign me up. <laughs> All right, besties, we have reached the end. So overall, I think Good American has some good quality pieces. I was looking at my jeans and the jacket and I noticed a lot of the pieces are made in China. It's kind of disappointing that they're like outsourcing so far away at such high prices. I feel like they can do a little bit better with who they choose their suppliers to be, but the pieces do seem like pretty good quality. I think what they have going for them is the inclusivity of the fit. Like no other person is doing jeans like good american they feel like luxury high quality jeans but they're still in plus sizes a lot of the time when you're buying plus sizes you totally don't get that like luxury experience you don't get that super bougie outfit <laughs> experience that a lot of people in smaller sizes do get to have so i think this is a step in the right direction i do think there are some hits from this line and there are some misses i will have more details down in the description box below and in my blog post that is coming super soon <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye